are back for this special video. It feels so weird because I'm just all out here, child. And that's because we are doing the belly cast video finally. So this is the same exact one that we used last time. This time I think I'm gonna put a hand up here. Cause I don't like seeing the shape of the boobs. Oh really? We'll see how that turns out. Oh, didn't you have to pre-cut last time? Yeah, I need some scissors. Dang. We ain't prepared. Alright. But yeah, it is the belly cast video. Look at my belly. It looks unreal. Side profile. Look, baby, look in the camera. When I do this. Oh, that is. That's what's <laughs> working. Alright, we're gonna officially stop playing with y'all. We're gonna start underneath the bottom, work our way up to this way. It's three to four layers, how it works. So you gotta put the gel on the stomach so that when it's all said and done, it pops off easily. Don't be rough. There's a baby in there. It's been a long time since she's touched you. Mm -hmm. oh, that thing is sick. Mm -hmm. And then I get no ideas. It's trying to. Don't get no ideas. You blowing right now. Don't be trying to use this behind my back. Hey, you never know. <laughs> my feet big glob missing. No. You know how I'm gonna know you touched it? If it has that bat finger. Why are you talking about my finger? <laughs> if you dip in it and it has a fingerprint, and it goes backward like that. I got that oh, side. No. I can't see. All the girls decided, ooh, they really like me. You so shy and made me so shy and made I'm me. I'm exhausted from you doing this. You ain't even do it though. <laughs> you don't understand what kind of ligaments and stuff is working together. You got your whole side over there? Yeah, I get my boobies. Yeah, I get that. You got it. Let me get the side over there. That's the best part of the whole pregnancy. <laughs> you got a long time. Been about a year. Since you touched my boobies? <laughs> yeah. Um. It's my only chance, y'all. <sighs> Gotta take advantage. Let's try the first strip, see how this is gonna work out. <laughs> you get that part? I okay. can't see. Look up the top. If I could do that, I could see my vagina. <laughs> Why do I got stuff on my hand? I ain't doing nothing. You know, this is a dirty job. Like Steve Jobs? Mm. Uh, yeah, something like that. So we got two layers. Mm -hmm. Oh! I think I said this last year too. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so you <laughs> got layers! <laughs> so, just like last time, let's figure out conversations. What you want to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> Dang. That was quick. Alright, we still middle range or are we bigger now? Because you about the, be about the belly button right now. You gotta do layers. So. We already talked about getting the IUD. You get the IUD. David said I don't got a choice. I ain't got much options. So it's happening. So when did they put the IUD in? Around your six week appointment. I need to bend and all Yeah, this. get that. I'm not supposed to be helping. Yeah, I need you. Let's talk about what we was talking about in the car. About how, how, um, Sex is non-existent. How you're afraid, apprehensive. About my um, Sex has to have kids. I think, no. From a female perspective. It just, your vagina changes. Mm -hmm. How does it change? Everyone changes different, but one thing I didn't expect is after having knowledge, it's like being a virgin again. Mm -hmm. So it it's like starting all over with the pain. I don't think everyone is the same, but I think especially more so for us because we weren't allowed to have sex. Be intimate. On the first pregnancy. Yeah. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold. Ooh, it's cold. And I remember after being intimate, after having Nala, I was kind of like, Dang, this sucks. Mm -hmm. Not like you suck, but it's just like, it stings, it hurts. It's 
like, you know, there's this perception that you just get bigger and your hole gets bigger and all that stuff. But I don't think that's true for my kids. I don't know if it's because we was intimate pretty much the whole time. But like, no. So now going into having this baby is like more nerve wracking because I gotta do it all over again. I am not ready for that start over. David just wanna smash. Yeah. He was trying to talk me into trying it before baby just to get baby going and all that stuff. I'm just like, bro, you just wanna have sex. Yeah, it might make the delivery easy. No, he's just trying to have sex. I understand it. I get it. So, um, we were saying that this is a topic that not many people talk about, you know. In, in the regards of whether like people feel like it's harder to have sex after after having a kid. I don't know if I'm the only one. He wants me to go on the forum and I'm just like, ain't no forum gonna help me prepare my body to take the D. Like, I just gotta take it. So, anywho, David had a dirty dream about me. <laughs> David wanted me to become a stripper. That was just a dream. In my dream, she was a stripper. And I was there. He was like my pimp. <laughs> <laughs> you were kind of like the pimp. But it was in and out. It wasn't like no, it was like five minutes. <laughs> Basically. And I think my mind just going places because we ain't having sex, so. Yeah. <laughs> So it's gonna be about, what, we got another 10 weeks? Yeah. <sighs> I feel so bad for him. It's just difficult. It can put a strain, like, this is why they say make sure that you're in a relationship that's strong. Because I don't think just, a, just any relationship can bear, like, complications in the pregnancy. You gotta have someone of a friendship. Well, look, you gotta have a good, close, tight knit friendship. Yeah, just a good relationship in general. Because if you ain't look pregnant with somebody that you, that really truly loves you, and you having like pregnancy and infertility, I'm not gonna say infertility, but if you have pregnancy issues. Really an emotional time. Like, and you don't, you're not with the right with the right person. Like, if you're going through stages like us, like, who is told that you can't have sex and you can't do this, or you gotta go to the doctor every week, or you're being charged every two seconds, things like that. It's like if you don't have a good relationship, it makes like you extremely emotional so imagine if you go through all that like you're bound to want to cheat or your partner cheats or whatever because they can't have sex with you so they find someone else if you don't have a strong relationship and you just want to lock somebody down or you think it's cute to be like what are our babies look like let's just that like Having kids ain't no joke, especially in the beginning when you're not used to waking up when you want to and have baby crying. And you look at your partner, and your partner try to pretend that they don't hear that crying either. <laughs> Who gonna get up? <laughs> Who gonna get up? You already spent the last 15 hours getting up every two seconds, carrying that baby, putting that baby back to sleep. Dang. Everything and then that baby had the nerve to wake up 30 minutes after you just put the down. <laughs> Child, y'all better make sure these relationships strong. I'm definitely glad that even when it comes to like marriage that we didn't rush that. And I think everything happened and when it was supposed to. But looking at hindsight and going through everything, I don't regret nothing, but I think really getting to know each other really did help. Very important. Because people change. And I think you just gotta, even if you know your partner, you still gotta give that time and adjustment for the change they're gonna make by being with you. And that's not a bad thing. But they're gonna change because they're adapting to you. Damn, I think I'm doing a good job. I think this is better than last time. Yeah. I feel like I'm just preaching now. Somebody wants to hear it. 
just being a parent is no joke. Like, I was watching a TV show today, and this couple was in a bar, just hanging out and drinking. I was like, oh yeah, we can't do that no more. No. <laughs> That's not our life. You know how long it's been since we've been like in the bar? Bar so. Now when we look back in hindsight, I could probably be like, damn, when we didn't have kids, we had more opportunities to do stuff that we didn't take advantage of. We said tone bodies. But I mean, it's not like I kind of I miss that stuff either. Yeah. So it's like you kind of transition once you have kids and there's you transition into new things that you like. Like, I never liked Disney growing up. No. <laughs> I always watched Nickelodeon, anything to do well, with I Nickelodeon. I like Disney, don't get me wrong. I like Disney, old Disney shows. I didn't. But I didn't like Disney itself. I thought it was like immature. I thought Disney was a little too kiddy too. Now it's like we grown up, we like, whoa, Disney. But yeah, like he said, like it's not that I miss it. If anything I miss is is just laying down and resting when I want to. I never really had a bit growing up going out soon. Cause I didn't start drinking until I was 25, so and I got pregnant what 27? Mm -hmm. Something like that. No, I didn't. 29. No, I got married at 27. Yeah. And then I was like 29 and I got pregnant. So I didn't really have a lot of time to growing up. It's like a few, few years. I don't regret anything. I am pretty happy and blessed how my life is. And no matter what, even if baby girl can be tiring. At the end of the day, you look at her and it's like, yeah, that's me. That's yeah. a little me right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is new. If it looks stupid, y'all, I'm sorry. Because that's not going up good. There's not that armpit in there. <laughs> oh, man. Now you really look like a mummy. Yeah. <laughs> I got a fast gas. <laughs> I wonder how passing gas would sound if you had this on your butt. Why would you have this on your butt? I don't know if you were trying to make a cast of your butt or something like that. That don't seem sanitary. But I'm just wondering how gas would sound through it. <laughs> I'm talking about strolling. So we end up ordering, as y'all know, we needed to get a double stroller for both the girls. And we ended up ordering the 2020 Upper Baby Vista V2 in the color pink. So when we ordered it, well originally we was going to get it from Bye Bye Baby, but when we was getting it from Bye Bye Baby, Bye Bye Baby said they're not getting it until late March, and I said, oh no, it can't be late March to April, and I was kind of like, well we just got this credit card for Bye Bye Baby, just so that we can use like our discounts and everything like that, like we had the whole thing set up. Get the rewards, all that good stuff. But then. I had to have a come to Jesus moment with David. We talked about it, so I ended up looking online, finding that Strolleria was selling the stroller and going to ship it out on Valentine's Day. So I was like, babe, I think if we're allowed to use this card anyway, we should use it there. So we basically did that. So we ended up ordering five days ago and it basically was $1,129. Then I get an email last night saying, your color is gonna be shipped March 16th. I said, that's the whole point of going with them. In the email they said, we could change the color to get it sooner. So we ended up changing the color to like the blue flint, 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 flint. Mm -hmm. Fin blue. Fin. 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 fin <laughs> How about they sent me a text message saying that my, my stroller already on the way. The same day I ordered it. So yeah, that's good news y'all. So y'all will see that video soon. So we will definitely be putting it to you, showing every little bit of it to y'all. Yeah. Getting as much of our money's worth as we possibly can. Yeah. So I think... You know you at a different level in life when you're excited about strollers. Alright, nice one. That's the last one. Nice one. Hey, on my face. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> check, check, check. All right, so I'm looking at you dry because we actually got the shower clearly. We got on different clothes or whatever. Had to clean up. Had to clean up. But um, we just took her off. <laughs> and this is what she looking like. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Especially seeing it on camera. Looks good. That looks like a beautiful piece of art. <laughs> yeah, because you did it. I, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, I it's can, even like even at the top. Like dang. Mm -hmm. I can see my belly button. I don't see my nipples. I'm happy about that. It looks very classic. So I can't really touch it right now. They said give it 24 hours to dry. So we just go leave it here. Zoom, zoom in on a little bit. Oh, okay. They will want me to zoom in. Let me give you that zoom in, zoom in. So that is what it's looking like up close. Oh, I do see your belly button. There you see it. <laughs> and my little arms or whatever. So that's crustable before I go to sleep. I know I was gonna get one too, but I want to eat. And crustable. We probably look so red. <laughs> we look so red or whatever because that shot was too good. And it's probably the first time in so long that we actually took a shower together. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, that is the belly cast video. So we did it. We got out of the way. We was a little nervous that we wasn't going to be able to make it with all the preeclampsia scare. Yeah. But we got it out of the way. I love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. All right. See ya. Bye.